This is Kite Cutter TV with another presentation. We gotta talk about this. Okay guys, you would think if your immigration status was illegal, you would lay low, get by on your cash and hand job, and stay out of people's way. But for these weirdos that don't follow the rules coming into a country, you can pretty much expect them not to follow the rules once they are actually inside the country. A Maryland woman who was filming herself dancing in her living room last month inadvertently captured images of a man breaking into her second floor apartment via her balcony. Angel Rodriguez Gomez, 36, is charged with stalking, burglary, secondary assault, and malicious destruction of property. He was booked into the Washington County Detention Center, from which he was later released on bond, according to this report. But at some point, thank God, he must have been picked up by ICE. It amazes me that illegal immigrants can do anything they choose to do in a country and liberals will still defend him. What if this was your daughter? Thank the Lord this woman survived this incident. Check this out. She likes to dance. She often records her moves on her cell phone. But she never thought that one of those recordings would end up as evidence. When he first opened the door, I was prepared for a few moments to die. The scene, the Bradford Apartments in Hagerstown. Hannah Viverett says she dances every night in her second floor apartment to relax. But one Sunday night, she says something awful happened. Her cell phone captured the incident. I had seen him before. Um, and. It took me about three seconds to put it all together that this is the man that's out in this truck that watches me from my balcony, that's made advances at me. Um, and in that moment, I just knew that it wasn't going to be good. Hannah says the man climbed up to her second floor balcony and came in through an open door. She moved quickly out of her apartment and yelled for the man to leave. Get out. You can see him here as he backs out of that door. Arrested in connection with the case, 36-year-old Angel Moises Rodriguez Gomez. He's charged with burglary, second-degree assault, and stalking. Police say he lives close by the crime scene. Rodriguez Gomez has been released on bond. Hannah says she's worried. She says she wants to move. There's a GoFundMe page set up to help her buy out her lease. I'm Pat Collins. News for Washington. An update to a story we first told you about on Sunday. So the man seen breaking into a Hagerstown apartment with a woman inside that was shown in a TikTok video that recently went viral. That man has now been detained by ICE. So 36-year-old Angel Rodriguez Gomez has been charged with both third and fourth degree burglary, assault in the second degree, stalking and malicious destruction of property. Now, according to the victim, as you're seeing right here back on November 22nd, Rodriguez Gomez climbed her balcony and entered her apartment while she was filming a TikTok video. Rodriguez Gomez was then taken to the Washington County Detention Center, where he was seen by a district court commissioner. After seeing the commissioner, Rodriguez Gomez was released on an unsecured bond, and that's when U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement picked him up. He now remains in custody and was served a notice to appear for immigration proceedings. The U.S.-Mexico border wall is continuing to go up quickly, affecting a number of Arizona wildlife reserves and concerning environmentalists. Cronkite News reporter Kylie Cochran shows us one environmental step the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol is taking. But is it enough? 
Right now they're blasting through wilderness areas in the Peloncillo Mountains, in Guadalupe Canyon. Um, they are blasting through the Pajarito Mountains. All for one of the largest public works projects in American history, the Border Wall. This is one of the most biologically diverse places in North America, and it's a critical crossroads uh, on the North American continent. Miles Traphagen, a Borderlands program coordinator for Wildlands Network, said the 30-foot-tall steel structure affects more than just human migration. The impacts that go along with this um, are related to just um, directly walling off migration routes for a lot of wildlife species. These are a series of motion-activated wildlife cameras installed by the nonpartisan environmental group in Arizona's San Bernardino Valley. They observe the wall's impact on jaguars and javelina. In fact, um, people refer to San Bernardino refuges a big farm because there was just so many javelina there and um, now they're becoming more rare. But the wall doesn't just affect larger animals. The, the natural inclinations think about, okay, of course a bird is just going to fly over the wall and it doesn't matter if it's four meters or nine meters tall and if it... Aaron Flesh is a researcher at the University of Arizona. He studied the impact of human infrastructure on pygmy owls. These animals can't physically fly over a border wall. It's just like so many other critters that these landscape features create kind of a behavioral barrier, if you will. Customs and Border Protection has announced they're building 43 small animal wildlife passages along 63 miles of the Tucson Wall sector. Well, the wildlife passages that they're talking about are really, um, I would call them absurd. The wall is the size of this piece of printer paper just 8.5 by 11 inches. According to a CBP statement, the purpose of the passages is to allow for larger animals to pass through. Flesh considers the passages to be a step in the right direction. But it will help some things like quail and roadrunners and maybe turkeys and maybe smaller tortoises. Um, the issue with that is that they need to be frequent enough in space to foster that kind of exchange. Flesh and Traphagen agree that the bigger issue is the 2005 Real ID Act. The law concerns security, but includes waiving regulations that interfere with construction of physical barriers at borders. The Department of Homeland Security is using it to waive dozens of environmental laws during the wall's construction. Really uh, destroying an environmental treasure here in basically altering the evolutionary history of North America with these border walls. The wall's long-term effects on wildlife still remain to be seen. Kylie Cochran, Cronkite News. The CBP has announced an additional 50 wildlife passages on top of the 43 already going up in the Tucson sector. They're expected to be completed by the end of 2020. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, God bless. Peace.